Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It's Thursday. Let's get into the news. Okay, one of the better looking armors coming to the game very soon. This will be out next Friday, not tomorrow, but next Friday. Um, Nalgath, he put the set that we saw last week in the news video into a AQW model, so you can actually see what the model will look like in-game there on your character, both female and male, on screen. So that looks really cool. I'm really excited for that to be in the game. I think they said it was going to be a limited quantity shop item, but we'll see what happens with that in the game. More Nalgath stuff. Uh, a ranks with a red and blue version of a Nolgath armor that looks like it was made for Nolgath's birthday, which is in January. So you can look forward to that. Another weapon for that set. It looks like he went with the blue and black design. Looks very nice. Part one of Frostfell 2017 is going to be out tomorrow, and there's going to be like an ice version of a Berserker class, it looks like. Very cool. We'll get to see that tomorrow. The Berserker class armor, not there's no new class coming out. Next Friday will be the Wild Hunt finale. Of course, a reference to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt and uh, a bunch of cool armors and stuff coming there. A boss, a event mini boss and boss with seasonal drops. So they are seasonal, but I, I really, okay, I, I, rares are better, of course, uh, but seasonal items, I don't really mind, especially if they're uh, related to an event like Mogaween or Frostfell. I don't really care about that, if I'm being honest. Uh, so they're seasonal items, but they will be in-game along with the Doge Helmet. I don't know if the Doge Helmet is going to be rare or seasonal. Probably seasonal, and it looks really cool. There's one with the red nose, which... I, I did put a red nose on the bank pet that they released this year, and the bank pet did have red nose. If you click on the bank pet in game, uh, it does actually have red nose, the reindeer one. Uh, maybe that's a reference to what I did. I don't know. Probably not. If you were wondering why the immortal chronomancer class did not come out last week, which, uh, by the way, it's confirmed that this is the last calendar class they're going to put into the game next year. Uh, you're going to have to get the physical calendar and get a physical code next year. You're not going to be able to buy it in-game, so feels bad man on that. I kind of like the uh, in-game calendar classes, and it sucks that they're uh, not going to do it anymore. That's my opinion on that, if you want to know. But uh, Immortal Chronomancer will be in the game tomorrow. Uh, you'll be able to get that with 6K AC in Battle on Town. The last video I uploaded, I said it was Battle on, but it's going to be Battle on Town uh, for 6,000 ACs tomorrow. You'll be able to get that. The... Claw suit, the evil claw suit. Here's what it looks like on Elena's Twitter, along with some new helmets and stuff that I'm definitely gonna pick up. Looks very cool. You'll be able to buy that for ACs, or it'll be in the Frostfell collection chest. Now, just a quick reminder: there's also a free claw suit you can get uh, by doing the quest right here from this little guy. Uh, they do this every year, and it's always a different claw suit. Last year's was pretty cool. If you missed out on it, it was like a lightning color custom, uh, really cool claw suit. Uh, this year. Uh, make sure you do all these quests and you get the items. You can store them in your bank if you don't want them in your inventory, but make sure you get grab every item from all of these quests here uh, to get this year's claw suit. So make sure you do that. The Glacial Berserk class is also back in the game if you want to get that. That's a slash joint ice wind pass. Uh, so you can go pick up the seasonal Glacial Berserker class. Now Bido tweeted this out. I He might do this. It looks really cool. Uh, you can see behind it that there's the cat one. Uh, for the cat helmet so this isn't a finished artwork right here and you can tell it's kind of cut on there weirdly uh so this isn't finished artwork but maybe it's a concept of what he wants to do with a little cute reindeer helmet now if you bought the 10k ac chest you would have seen that there was an ultra top hat included in that 10k ac chest here's the top hat on uh the character page and you can see the top hat's pretty big you know it keeps going keeps going so it's gonna fill up the whole screen you'll be able to slash headbang with that and it'll cover the whole screen I, it's not the best looking top hat in my opinion oh we can get a closer look at it right there and yeah so you can see it's got the bell a little white and pink maybe that pink is color custom behind the white there uh but yeah it's not the best looking hat in my opinion uh, but that would be the 5k ac or included with the chest ultra top hat for this year reen says the brand new armor on it's called goblin disguise here uh that might be the name of the armor although usually that name right there is wrong uh looks pretty cool and we will see that in game we don't know when we'll see that in game that's undecided it might come out tomorrow or it might be uh for a upcoming release in the weeks 
to follow. So that is all of the news I could find for today. If I missed anything, leave that down in the comment section below. Thoughts on the video are always welcome, and uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Check out the last video I uploaded. If you haven't seen it already, it should be up on your screen right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.